Mafia The Old Country is coming out on August 8th. That's less than a week from now. And, you know, it, it looks like an Unreal Engine 5 game. Nothing about it, you know, to me stands out as completely mind-blowing graphics or anything like that. A lot of it looks fine, but the system requirements certainly leave some questions on some things. Uh, for example, like an RTX 2070 running a game at 1080p medium uh, sounds reasonable, it's, it's an old GPU, but they're also relying on balanced level upscaling for that 1080p target, so that is pretty aggressive. Now, if this is targeting 60 FPS, you know, that's one thing. If it's targeting 30 FPS, that's another, and unfortunately, the system requirements list doesn't tell us. So that's my biggest issue with this whole system requirements chart is without having uh, any idea of what frame rate they're targeting, it's a little hard to, uh, to, to be sure what, what to make of it. Um, now I'm hoping, given how much upscaling is involved here, that that's at least targeting close to 60 FPS, but again, it doesn't state that for sure. Now, another thing to note here is the minimum requirements are asking for an eight gigabyte graphics card. So even if you had something similar in power level to a 2070, uh, make sure it has eight gigabytes of VRAM. So if you had like a 2060, you know, it's a, just a little bit weaker, you know, sometimes uh, running out of VRAM can cause some issues. So might have to test that out uh, when the game comes out and see how that works. Uh, I've also got some other questions with what's going on in the system requirements chart because notice that their next requirements are talking about 1440p at the high preset. Okay, fine so far. They're also mentioning upscaling set to the quality setting. Okay, that makes sense. And again, I know some people hate that system requirements now sometimes have upscaling in them. I at least like when games are honest about it. So uh, I don't like when they leave it uh uh, unstated that they actually are using upscaling when, uh, but you know, they don't say it in the chart. But here they're at least being very clear that this is with upscaling enabled at the quality setting for 1440p. Uh, and, but then where things get confusing is when we move up to the epic preset where it's talking about 4K epic preset, but then it says set to 75% of 4K at 2880 by 1620. But then it also says using quality level upscaling which doesn't make sense because quality level upscaling is usually 67% internal rendering resolution. So this doesn't really make any sense. So I'll come back to my thoughts on that uh, in a minute, but first let's kind of get the basics out of the way and that's on the Epic preset. So we'll talk about that in a bit. But talking about the basics, if there is so much upscaling being recommended here, it is important to note that they at least do have the latest upscalers in the game, including FSR 4, which is good news, and DLSS 4, which is also good news. Even XESS 2 is in the game. Now, however, when they're talking about the uh, upscaling that they're using for the system requirements, it's also important to note that those are referring specifically to using TSR. Now, TSR is Unreal Engine's built-in upscaler. It generally doesn't look as good as FSR 4 or DLSS 4, so if you have compatible hardware, uh, it would make sense to use those instead, but their, uh, their uh, system requirements chart is referring to using TSR. Now, there's not much of a performance difference between those methods. Sometimes it can be uh, you know a few frames per second difference. One can be faster than the other. Uh, but it's not a major difference. So we're usually running a game with balanced level DLSS runs pretty similarly to running it with balanced level TSR, but the DLSS 4 output will look better. So it makes sense to use that. Uh, anyway, so with that in mind, um, again, there's a lot of upscaling here. They're saying a 2070 can get you, uh, you know, 1080p medium preset balance level upscaling or a 5700 XT. At least those are roughly in the same performance class. This is a useful tool if your GPU is not on this list and you want to kind of get an idea where yours would fall. This is Tech Power Up's relative performance chart. You can click on any GPU, like here I'll click on the 2070, and it will then set it as the 100% performance baseline. And then you can scroll up and maybe find your GPU and see how it performs relative to that. Or you can scroll down, maybe find your GPU. But again, if you have something like a you know, a 2060, it's not that much weaker than the minimum requirement. You might think you're fine, but that would come with six gigabytes of VRAM instead of eight. And again, this is stating that eight gigabytes of VRAM is required. So also keep that in mind when looking at this. Now, at least the 5700 XT is in the same general performance class as the 2070. Uh, so those at least make sense to pair up here. Uh, 
Now let's go ahead and move up the system requirements a bit. So their next one is 1440p monitor output, but using quality level upscaling. Notice that they're actually using less aggressive upscaling than the minimum requirements, moving from balanced, which is usually 58% per axis resolution of the monitor output, to quality, which is usually 67% per axis of the monitor output. Uh, so they're using higher resolution output and using a higher percentage of the actual internal rendering resolution, which does take a lot more power. And they're also moving from the medium preset to the high preset. And, I, uh, and they're going from a 2070 to a 3080 Ti. Now this is significantly more performance that they're asking for. Again, you might spot your GPU here as we scroll up. So if you have cards like a 1080 Ti, you're closer to the minimum. But as you get to cards like the 4060, you know you're 26% more powerful. 5060 is 55% more powerful. Uh, but uh, we gotta keep going up here until we get to that 3080 Ti, right? So the 3080 Ti, 224% of the performance of the minimum requirement. So in other words, more than double the performance. Now that makes sense because they're going uh, to a higher resolution target and they're increasing from medium to high. Uh, however, I will say that uh, I, I also wanna use this to maybe read into what their frame rate targets are because usually recommended is targeting at least an average of around 60 FPS, sometimes a bit higher, sometimes a bit lower, but averaging around 60 FPS. Minimums are sometimes targeting 30. Now to increase the, uh, from 30 to 60 would be a doubling of performance, but here, you know, they are asking for more than double performance, but they're also increasing the resolution and the graphics settings. So I don't think it would make sense to do all of that and jump from a flat 30 to a flat 60. So I would say that the 2070, I'm guessing that these minimum requirements aren't targeting 60 FPS, but they're probably also not targeting 30 FPS. I have a feeling it's probably more in some kind of a no man's land of like 40 to 50 FPS. And then you're probably getting a more solid 60 FPS with these recommended, but again, I'm just speculating on that. There are no frame rate targets listed. We'll have to benchmark the game, but that's what I think would make sense based on the performance and resolution targets that we're seeing listed with these. Now, note that they're also asking that the system RAM go from 16 gigabytes to 32, and that the video memory go from eight to 12. Now that's significant, because note that they listed the 3080 Ti, not the 3080. They're not miles apart in overall performance, but the base 3080 originally launched with 10 gigabytes, and the 3080 Ti had 12. The fact that they're specifically stating 12 for the video memory could be significant here, and they're not listing the base 3080. So it's possible that the higher presets could go beyond 10 gigabytes of VRAM, but again, we'll have to you know, test out the game to be 100% sure on that. Now here's where things get weird. The Epic preset claims to be a 4K preset, but also then says 75% of 4K, but then also says using quality level upscaling. It almost feels like there's a typo that the quality just shouldn't be here, and then what they're really saying is just use 75% TSR at 4K. But I actually don't think that makes sense based on the performance targets that they're listing here, I mean, for, for the GPUs because the 4070 Ti and the 9070 aren't actually significantly more powerful than the 3080 Ti and the 6950 XT. They're newer generations, but they're stepped down in like, you know, class. And they're ha uh, so here's what I mean. Let's set the 3080 Ti as the baseline here. If we set the 3080 Ti as the baseline, notice that a 4070 Ti is only slightly more powerful. And the 9070 is a bit more powerful than that, but not mind-blowingly so. We're talking like 13%. No, uh, usually moving up to a 4K output is gonna take a significantly higher performance demand. And here they're also moving up a graphics preset from high to epic. So um, I don't think it actually makes sense to move up to 4K and increase the resolution to 75% instead of 67% and move up a graphic preset, but only give you this tiny bit of extra GPU power. So what um, I, I'm interpreting this as is maybe you're on a 4K display which is then actually set to run at only 2880 by 1620 and then use quality level upscaling. Because that, moving from 1440p to 1620p, but sticking to quality level upscaling and a bump from high to epic is more in line with the, with the hardware that they're discussing here. But again, I could be wrong, that's some speculation. In general, it seems really weird to list both a 75% uh, like resolution target and quality level upscaling at the same time. That's kind of strange. 
Uh, it's not usually how the graphics menus work. So again, I'm wondering if it means you're on a 4K display, but setting it to output 2880 by 1620, and then still using quality upscaling to get there. I don't know. We'll, again, maybe have to see how this works when the game actually launches. The only other thing I'll mention is that the CPU requirements uh, moving up to the 4K Epic seem too high. And I will just say that system requirements often list much higher CPUs than are actually necessary because usually moving up resolution does not increase the burden on the CPU. So if you were hitting 60 FPS with your 5800X or 12700K, you can probably still hit uh, 60 FPS at a higher resolution uh, with your 9700X and 14700K. Sometimes certain graphic presets like crowd density and physics things and stuff like that can increase the CPU burden, uh, but usually not all that much. So I don't know, we'll have to see. Uh, the minimum CPUs are the 2700X Ryzen 7 and the Intel Core i7-9700K. Uh, those aren't uh, crazy new or anything. They're, you know, we're talking like April of 2018 for the 2700X. It's an 8-core, 16-thread part. Uh, and the i7-9700K was also a 2018 CPU. So they're high-end CPUs, but from a long time ago. Uh, in general, on, uh, on console, I believe this game is supposed to have a 60 FPS mode and uh, uh, in, in a performance mode. And the console CPUs are generally some, somewhere in line with about a Ryzen 5 3600X, uh, you know, that, that kind of thing. So nothing too crazy, but uh, oftentimes Unreal Engine 5 games can have some stuttering that is sometimes worse on lower end CPUs as it loads into a zone or something. So again, there's stuff we'll definitely wanna test out when the game actually launches, uh, if there's enough interest. So let me know in the comment section if you're interested in me benchmarking this game. I usually look at the comments alongside just how many views and uh, the uh, system requirements video gets to kind of gauge how much interest my audience has in benchmarking this particular title. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, also let me know your thoughts on this weird quality level upscaling, but also 75% render resolution thing. Seems a bit strange there. Uh, and I hope all of you have an excellent day.